I'm going to show you how to set up your services today. Um, I do have a small kid. <laughs> His name is Maverick. You will see and hear him throughout this video. All right, so I'm going to start with the internet first. This video is about installing the internet if you got the self-install kit. If you got a professional install, they're going to do it for you, so no need to worry. But with the self-install, you are going to have a box arrive from, I believe, FedEx, and you're going to have two pieces of equipment. Or if you have your own router, you're going to just have the modem, which the modem is what produces the internet inside the home. The router is what produces the Wi-Fi in the home. So that way you can connect your devices like your TV, um, your cell phone, your computer without a wire. It's wireless. So this is a router. Yeah. All right. So with the modem, we're going to start here. We're going to plug it in the coax cable in so a coax cable is this in your box and it has two end one this end and the other end looks exactly like this all right so one end you're going to go ahead and plug into the back of the modem just like that there's going to be a little knob sticking out that's metal go ahead and screw that in as tight as you can get it you're going to and if you guys haven't unpacked your box yet, go ahead and pause this video and unpack your equipment and I will walk you through this and push play when you're ready. So the coax cable is going to go from, so see you have an, a house that already had spectrum there. Maybe your coax cable comes right out of the floor like mine. You can grab this, this cable and the end of it is going to look like this you can literally just take this and plug it into the back of the modem where I showed you and you're good to go but mine has a splitter so mine is going to go right here you have my main line that goes here from the floor sorry it's blurry moving too much and then I have my TV and I have my internet. So the other end of the coax cable, I screwed into the splitter right here. Nice and tight. All right. So we're going on to the next wire. You can always pause and start this video whenever you're um, behind on a step because I'm going really fast. And all right. So we have two more cords for this. You have a yellow cord. Let's go ahead and plug this in. The ends are exactly the same. So you are going to plug this end into the back of the modem again in the yellow spot so right here all right make sure it clicks grab this end and plug it into the back of the router there is a yellow section just for it so yellow to yellow click done all right the yellow wire is done we have the power cord. The power cord is going to look like this, guys. You're going to go ahead and plug it into the back of the modem right here. All right. Make sure it matches up. Got it nice and tight. I grab this end, and I do recommend getting in an extension cord because you're going to have a lot of wires. You've got TV, you got phone, and you got internet. Mm. So I'm gonna plug this in power cord right into <laughs> right into this extension. Hold on, it's hard to do one-handed. I'm gonna set the phone down just for a second to do this. All right, done. So that's plugged in. It's ready to go. Your modem should light up blue. Hold on, honey. It should be light, not blue, a solid light, and we're going to go back to it, okay? Right now, we're going to set up the router. So the router, sorry, guys. Hold on. Can you have this? The router is going to come with two cords. And remember, we, get, we put the yellow one into it already. So we have the power cord. 
which is going to plug into the wall or the extension cord here. This one. Honey, I need this. Thank you. And then we have the other end of the power cord like this. Let's go over here again. That is going to plug into the back of the motor or router. I'm sorry, router. The power cord is going to be on the very bottom. You're just going to plug this right into there, nice and tight. Plug that into the wall. I do it to the extension cord. You can use an extension cord. All right, you should see a green light. Or if you don't have a power cord just like this, that's okay. So now your router is going to be blinking blue. Oh, it went out. All right, so we're gonna go back to why that does that, because it's still getting power. I see with the green, so I may just take a second to load up. This one, I go back to the modem, I'm seeing two solid lines and a blinking line. That means power. The other one means US, what's it say, USDS, which is your internet flowing. And then this one is showing you Sorry, that you are online. It, that is now solid. I and I have a telephone, so that's loading up right now. And you could have another line for like a fax machine or something. But I have one telephone, so that's going to blink until it's ready. Now I go back to the router, and it's nice and blue. And I do have an extra wire for the router. It's just a telephone wire. And that's for my telephone. I believe that's why it's on there. Yeah. yeah. So, telephone might blink. You just want to check your telephone, make sure it's working. Um, if it's not, just give it a few minutes because everything is working. So, there might be an issue. Like, most likely, this is going to stop and say solid. If not, no big deal. Just check your telephone, see if it works. But if it doesn't work, you know that the telephone is the only issue. You're getting internet to the Wi-Fi router, so you are good there. He's on the telephone. He heard me talking about a phone. <laughs> this is going to stay a solid blue, and you should be online now. And that is it. You just put it where you want it to go. And you can check out my next videos to understand how to connect this router to a cell phone that'll be one of my videos hey. to a tv will be another and to a computer will be another oh see it went solid so the phone is up and running and i can show you also how to set it to a printer if you'd like all right check out my next videos and give me a thumbs up if you like thank you